Multiplying fractions is way easier than adding and subtracting fractions. You don't have to get a common denominator as you do when you add and subtract. Um, you can, but it's a lot of extra work and not necessary. You simply multiply your numerators together and your denominators together and cancel if it's possible. So in this particular problem, there is no canceling involved. You simply multiply 2 times 4 and get 8, and 3 times 5 and get 15, and that's it. This next problem, if I multiply 3 times 8 and get 30, and then 8 times 21 and get 168, I'm going to have to reduce. So we have this technique called canceling, which is really cool. Let's see, 3 is a common factor of 3 and 21. So I'm going to divide the numerator by 3 and get 1, and divide the denominator by 3, and that's going to go in 7 times. 8 doesn't go into 10, but they're both even, so 2 is a common factor. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And watch out for your negative signs. You don't want to lose them when you're crossing things out. So we have negative 1 times negative 5, that's a positive 5, and 4 times 7 is 28. All right, here we've got three different factors. Um, I can divide 3 into 9, or 6 into 9. Well, 6 doesn't go into 9, but a factor of 6 and 9. Um, or I could put 3 into 12, or 6 into 12. So I can really choose. I'm going to get rid of this and clean it up a little bit so I can get a better picture. I think I'm going to do 3 into 12, just to show you that it doesn't have to be next to each other. You can put 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, the 12 is gone, I can't use it, but the 4 is available for use. Now, 6 and 4, they're both even, so I'm going to cut them both in half. And now I see I have a 3 and a 9. 3 goes into 3 once, and into 9 3 times. Multiply 9 my numerators, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 3 times 2 is 6. Same thing here, let's see. I could put 5 into 10 or 5 into 15, I have two 5s. Well, let's see. I'm going to try this one. 5 goes into 5 once and into 10 twice. And here, 5 goes into 5 once and into 15 three times. And I could do the 4 with the 6 or 2, but I think I'll do it with the 2. Um, 4 goes into, or excuse me, 2 goes into 4 two times and into 2 once. And then I still have the 6 available to use. I can do uh, 2 goes into 1, excuse me, 2 goes into 2 once, and into 6 three times. I can't do anything with my two threes. They're both in the denominator. It has to be something in the numerator and something in the denominator. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 1 times 3 is 9. Now, in order to do this problem, you have to turn things into improper fractions. So, 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 is 16 times... 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Remember doing this? And now we can cancel. Let's see. Oops. Ooh. Oh, I did a bad thing. 6 times 4 is 24, and 1 is 25. The denominator always remem remains the same. So now I can put 4 goes into 4 once and into 16 four times, and 5 goes into 5 once and into 25 five times. And multiplying across, I get 20 over 1. Eh, we'll just write it as 20. All right, and for this one, 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14 over 3 times 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 is 9 over 4. And let's see, what can I cancel? I can put 3 into 3 goes once and into 9 3 times, and 4 and 14, well, 4 doesn't go into 14, but they're both even, so I can cut them both in half, and I end up with... Oh, I have a negative sign there. Be careful. It's going to be negative 21 over 2. Make sure I didn't mess up with any of my other negative symbols. Well, I think that was it. All right. Now, this next slide, uh, it says try these. So what I'd like you to do is put this on pause, copy down the problems, do them, and then come back and check and see how you did. All right. I'm going to complete them now. Let's see. So we have 3, 2... And can't do anything with the 4 and the 5, or the 4 and the 2, so my answer is going to be 5 over 8. And let's see, 3 goes into both of these, and 4 goes into both of these, and I end up with negative 
1 over 10. Uh, let's see, I can cancel 5's, I can do 2 and the 8, and I can do the 3 and the 9, and I end up with 1 12th. One twelfth. Okay, and now let's see, I can do 5 and 25, and 7 and 14, and 2 with the 6, and that's good, 2 over 15. And here I have to turn these into improper fractions. 5 times 4 is 20, so I have 21 fourths times 21, 25, no, wait a minute, 21, 24, excuse me, over 7. And then when I cancel, I get 18 over 1, or simply 18. Alright, let's turn these into more perfections. 2 times 9 is 18, and 7 is 25 ninths. Don't forget that negative here. And 15, we have 18 over 5. And now, let's see, 5 goes into 25 5 times, and 9 goes into 18 2 times, and it is negative, so my answer is negative 10. How'd you do? This workforce product was funded by a grant awarded by the United States Department of Labor's Employment and Training Administration. The product was created by the grantee and does not necessarily reflect the official position of the U.S. Department of Labor. The Department of Labor makes no guarantees, warranties, or assurances of any kind, express or implied, with respect to such information, including any information on linked sites and including, but not limited to accuracy of the information or its completeness, timeliness, usefulness, adequacy, continued availability, or ownership.